Rob Wilkinson, the newcomer. Sia Bahadazada, the veteran. Touch of gloves, Bahadazada in the green, Wilkinson in the white. So we're looking for the stinging jab and the, and the wrestling of Rob Wilkinson. And for CR, it's the power. It's the big power in his right hand. I'm interested in his move to middleweight as well, John. I'm wondering if he feels like he will be more energetic at this weight class. I think it was his time away, Dan, and he'd unfortunately put on some weight. <laughs> so he didn't feel like he'd get down in time. He has every intention of competing at welterweight when he gets back. But that's a smart thing to do, right? You know, if you don't don't feel like you're going to perform at your best oh look at this such power even at this heavier weight class you can see how he just throws individuals off shrug that off i had a really interesting conversation with the and he told me this this was great so he has the fastest height and coordination out of 5,000 people that were tested, including all of the guys at Jackson Wink. Wow. That's impressive. That is very impressive, especially considering some of the guys on the mat there. Well, I don't think John Jones is impressed, so I heard. <laughs> Let's see if Wilkinson can take advantage of that reach advantage. We spoke of the the wingspan with the hands that advantage but of course he'll have the legs as well yes yep, without a doubt and i've seen him use his, his reach very well in previous fights doing research his jab is the, is the thing that stands out to me it's a snapping jab very very accurate good at upsetting people's attack and keeping him on the back foot allowing him to set up that takedown he likes to close distance and start to wrestle people if he can smash him up against the fence here he'll start to sap his energy and try and get that top position but he clearly knows the power of cr and he's not crashing forward recklessly he doesn't want to wear one of those gloves wilkinson has trained at team quest and alliance in the past more recently he has sparred with interim champ rob whitaker brendan o'reilly and he also trains with richie walsh a name familiar to ufc fans Filthy Rich, another another veteran of the sport that would be very useful to work with to impart some of that UFC knowledge. The understanding, look at that big takedown, very nice. Controls the far side wrist, tries to keep him down, but CR straight back to his feet. Incredibly powerful individual. Manages to sneak a knee to the midsection in, but Rob Wilkinson is back in on the legs. And this is where he likes to do his work, Dan. Crushing people up against the fence, taking them down and getting that top position because that's where he can employ that ground and pound and with his height and posture can really do some damage he is the razor and you'll see uh, you'll see the razor blade tattooed on his forearm as well he's confident in the sharp forearms and the sharp elbow strikes that he can use to open his opponents up we have seen cr cut before so that could be part of the game plan we know very well about the Hadazada's power game beating Paolo Tiago in just 42 seconds. Got a bonus for that one. Very nice. Look at that. That left hook landed from CR on the break. Rob Wilkinson's pulled his hand up tight to his temple. Bahadazada was recently honored by the Afghan Special Forces and the Olympic Committee for his athletic achievements. Gave him a real boost. Oh, wow. What a shot to the midsection, straight into a, look at that, straight to a dash choke. Roll through. Been more quiet sounds from a drum, Dan. <laughs> straight on this head and arm choke That's good from work. the bottom. Rob Wilkinson's doing the right thing to defend it, and CR is not in the right position to get this finish now. But he could certainly burn his arms out, squeezing like that. Wilkinson looks for the neck. Bahadazada swept his head out of the way. That's 45 seconds of this first round. Looks strong for CR so far. Rob Wilkinson quite cautious as he's moving towards his opponent. The BT1 corner. Asking for Wilkinson to keep busy. Dropped his level. Nice. Dumped Bahadazada on the mat. Another big takedown. Doing a better job of controlling. You can see him controlling the right wrist of CR. 
slow down his escape, but even so, Siar's able to get back to his feet. Last few seconds. Go grab the cage, go grab the cage. Wilkins is trying to oh, drag that was a this powerful order. knee to the side of the head. You win the fight, bring it on. Fight has come out for round number two. The Wilkinson corner asking for straight punches. He's not utilizing that reach advantage at the moment. For Hadazada stayed in the Netherlands for this camp. Despite that, there are billboards up in Afghanistan with his face on advertising this fight. Nice head work there from Bahadazada. Wilkinson has to be careful when he's lowering his head. That right hand shovel punch that he uses, that CR uses, the one that he starts Thiago, uh, Paolo Thiago with, is always on offer every time he levels his, uh, he lowers his level. You can just see, you can, you can Oof, feel, there yeah. it is, look, yeah, whistles yeah, yeah. past his head. Yeah. CR's waiting for the opportunity. It's a good job he's got such a reach advantage, Shamar, he can just maintain that range. Yes. There's his jab. One, two there. CR shakes it off, says there's no power on it. Hadazada looking for the counters here. Now, I've seen both of these guys get tired in their fights before. Even though Rob Wilkinson's unbeaten, he does slow down in his fights. He does give everything he's got. His, his ability to manage his energy expenditure may not be on point for this level of competition. But his toughness has always, he always showed through and he's still got the win. I don't know how much to read into this, Dan, but when I saw him earlier in the week, he was kind of full of cold. Oh, big overhand right. Rocked him for a second. But it's out back. CR picking up his pace, good take down defense, nice work. Circled out of that beautifully, did Bajo Desada. Deep breaths from both guys. CR, confidence on the rise. Nice stinging jab from Rob Wilkinson. Just got to keep pouring that jab out there. When you have a knockout ratio of more than 50% like CR does, you kind of expect people to fall over when you land, you know? When you start moving forward, you move with confidence and you throw with confidence. If it lands, that's excellent. Obviously, you get the finish, but if it doesn't, because you're putting so much power into these punches, it can take that effort, that energy away from you. It's almost like squeezing on a guillotine that you don't finish. He's just hunt in for that long range shot. He knows that with his reach disadvantage, he's gonna have to use the full extension of his hands. But a couple of times he landed shots and you could see Rob Wilkinson was hurt. And then this last flurry here follows him, almost nonchalantly walks him down, pours on the pressure. Leon and Leon Robertson taking a good look at him, but steps in, he's seen enough. The power on display for CR Bahadazada tonight. Very, very impressive. Congratulations to Bahadazada. What that man has been through over the last few years would make most people want to hang him up, but not him. And what a way to come back. The Netherlands native comes back after his time away to put on a performance like that. Brilliant stuff. Let's send it inside to the Octagon. Bruce Buffer will make it all official. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Leon Roberts called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 10 seconds.